Um, my name is Liam, I come from APC. Um, I've been doing the drum Moo program for eight weeks now. And, yeah. Hi, my name's Darcy McGrath and I go to Alexandria Park Community School. Hello, Where goodbye. My name is Jonathan Jones, I work in the Aboriginal Art Department at the Akari New South Wales and in 2009 we started the Jammu project. What does Jammu mean? Here, here I come, here I, here I am, I'm here. The Jammu project was really looking at getting young Aboriginal kids into the gallery and looking at how we could show them what's going on in the gallery, all the different areas of the gallery, just so they, um, I guess, become familiar with the space, familiar with what goes on here and perhaps feel a sense of ownership as well. And hopefully, I guess, maybe be interested in someday coming into the gallery and maybe even working at the gallery. My name's Jane Stanley. I'm um, the S Aboriginal Education Consultant for Sydney Region, or one of two Aboriginal Education Consultants. I was the person, I guess, that got to do all the groundwork with the kids back at school and liaising uh, with the schools. A lot of the things that, were, that we did on the program, they definitely wouldn't have had a chance to do that had they not been involved in the program. But we also teamed those ideas up and those experiences up with local Sydney-based artists or local areas or local places in Sydney. So we went across to a few different Aboriginal organisations. Then we go to wherever the destination is, then we talk to the artists about stuff. Yeah. Are, are all of those words like what pirates are? Yeah, yeah, they're like... You know, shivering your timbers, you know, you know, like... <laughs> Hanging out with one artist, Daniel Boyd, went to his studio and the students had a look at what it's like to be an artist. My favourite one was Roy Kennedy because I liked the printmaking. He made a little metal plate and he made it where he come from, all the missions, and he made it out what it looked like when he lived in it. Hey. Um, what was it like teaching all of us? It was great, I loved teaching and I loved talking to you about my artwork and what I'd done and how I come about it. And I never come into the artwork till uh, 1998. So uh, I was 62 when I came into the artwork. Where did you grow, grow up? I grew up a little place, a little mission uh, down in Darlington Point Mission, down in the Riverine area. And I was only, only growing up like you lads and uh, they were brainwashers in those days like that. What tribe did you come from? I'm the Radjuri tribe, and that's the Riverine area over there in the other area. Yeah. And what tribe are you? Um, Bunjalung. Oh, yeah, Bunjalung. And? And, um, Eora. <laughs> and Bigambo. Bigambo. For a lot of our Aboriginal kids, they, they don't like to put their hands up and ask questions. That's another skill that they learnt during the program. That's so cool. They were taking on some fantastic yeah. excursions. We went to... La Perouse. And met this artist named Esme Timber Timbery. We were interested in showing um, the students how traditional ideas and traditional practices have endured and have sort of re-manifested themselves and still live today. that art is also film and media productions and we also learned about a bit of our culture. So yeah, it's fantastic. It's a deadly program. <laughs> Did you like Jammu program? No. No. Just Why? Just kidding. Yes. Let's go!